What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City transfer video. Today we're going to be doing an official welcoming of Mateus Nunes to Manchester City, City's newest signing of the summer transfer window, signing number four, joining Mateo Kovacic, the first signing, Yoshko Gavardiol, the second signing, Jeremy Doku, the third signing, and Mateus Nunes, the fourth signing, the fourth summer signing of the 2023 summer transfer window for Manchester City. In today's video, I'm going to be digesting the deal, who's got a good deal, who's not got a good deal, all the negotiations that have happened, of course, what Mateus Nunes can bring to Manchester City, and of course, what Man City can do for Mateus Nunes as well, whilst also having a lot of fun. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe. That would be much appreciated. On that push to 32,000 subscribers, any help towards that would be much appreciated. Social media links, they're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to come follow me on my Twitter and Instagram email, also in the description too, if you want to hit me up for the sponsorships for any videos or any general business in inquiries also don't forget to leave a thumbs up it's an official welcoming so we're going to aim very very ambitious 1000 likes any help towards that would be much appreciated and also don't forget as well to leave your thoughts in the comments below Mateus Nunes are you happy with that let me know your thoughts in the comments below so we're going to crack on with this video we're first up going to start with negotiations this has been a transfer that's been sorted relatively quickly by Manchester City. Less than two weeks it's taken from the rumours to start linking Mateus Nunes with Manchester City to this deal getting sorted. Manchester City a couple of weeks ago looked like they were going to sign Lucas Paqueta from West Ham. His betting allegations come out, that deal collapses and all of a sudden Man City were looking at other alternatives and often Manchester City are looking at alternatives. We always seem to come up smelling of roses. We always seem to go out there and bring in somebody else who's more complete, who's better for the team and it ends up just being a success and I'm hoping going off our proven track history of this that Mateus Nunes will be the same here for Manchester City. City bringing in the young 24 year old Portuguese central midfielder, pretty versatile and I'm happy with this signing because Mateus Nunes whilst he can play in a more advanced role, he's brilliant with his distribution, he can play across the midfield so if City end up getting any injuries anywhere in midfield, Mateo Kovacic for example who's pretty injury prone, all of a sudden you've got a good player who can is ready to take over from that without Manchester City taking too many risks and it's been quite clear all summer that Manchester City have needed more depth in their midfield we saw Ilkay Gundogan leave we saw Mateo Kovacic come in a like for like or as like for like as you'll get with Manchester City transfers but we're still needing a little bit more depth and we've managed to get that now in Mateus Nunes and bringing him in all of a sudden means Manchester City look ready set here to uh, compete on all fronts for all trophies and that will be Manchester City's aim we don't have to be thinking about you know what we want to, to go easy and we can afford to chuck this competition or that competition to put focus on the bigger trophies none of that Man City now have got a good sized squad we looked a couple of players short a couple of weeks ago we bring in Doku we bring in Mateus Nunes and all of a sudden you've got high quality young players coming to Manchester City who offer something a little bit different to what we've already got so firstly I'm very very happy with the signing of Mateus Nunes. As I said, good with his distribution. I'd expect him to be doing very well uh, with Manchester City. I would expect him, being a, a, a ball distributing midfielder, uh, to be able to learn from Pep Guardiola to improve his game to get even better. Now, City aren't going to spend a vast amount of money. We're talking uh, what fifty million pound plus here to bring in Mateus Nunes. He's not. We're not going to spend that amount of money with him not getting game time. He will get game time for Manchester City. He has to get game time for Manchester City because we play four central midfielders at times in games we play 60 plus games in a season we have Kevin De Bruyne out for four to five months there's no let up in the domestic season and European season for Manchester City we need that cover we need that depth Mateus Nunes will get minutes for Manchester City and I'm hoping that when we do get to see him in the sky blue of Manchester City that he'll be able to really just settle in and hit the ground running which is why I think Man City was so insistent and so keen here on bringing in a Premier League proven player we've not been linked when it comes to central midfielders with any player outside of the Premier League this summer we didn't sign Jude Bellingham. That was before the window opened. Once the window opened, it's just been Premier League proven players. Declan Rice, Lucas Paqueta. Now we've got Mateus Nunes. Premier League proven players. And Manchester City insistent on doing that. And this is all, to me, about depth 
for that midfield. It was looking a little bit short. Man City, I don't think, wanted to rely on inexperienced young players ready to take the reins when it comes to potentially some really big games. Now, we've got them options. And all of a sudden, Man City's bench and depth, which doesn't look, look as strong, all of a sudden... You bring back one or two players from injury like a John Stones and all of a sudden Man City's depth is absolutely fine. Uh, so yeah, I'm really happy with this signing. I think it's a good signing. City haven't spent over the odds. Uh, there was talk of City spending 80, 85 million pounds on Lucas Paqueta. The fact that we're spending, what, 30 million pound less here to bring in Mateus Nunes, a player who's actually younger than what uh, Lucas Paqueta is, that, that, that sits well with me. I think that's a good bit of business uh, there uh, for Manchester City. I think Wolves have got themselves a good deal as well. They'll face a race against time now to find a replacement because whilst it's great that they earn a lot of money from these players and manage to profit from Mateus Nunes inside one season, they are going to need to spend money to replace uh, Mateus Nunes and it's great that they get Tommy Doyle from Manchester City who's an outstanding talent but they'll want proven uh, top league players to be able to battle for them so they can be put into a position so they can uh, obviously first and foremost their first ambition will be to stay in the Premier League for next season and that has to be the first aim it's the first aim really of any club in the Premier League you're always wanting to get to safety first to secure that money the Premier League money is the most lucrative most uh, watched league in the world you want to get it right and Wolves need to get it right so it'll be interesting to see how they replace him and doing it this late in the window it's a whopping amount of money to be spending this late in the window this hasn't been a panic buy from Manchester City this has been carefully fought out at a very quick pace Kudos to Chicky and the team getting a deal sorted in less than two weeks here for Mateus Nunes to become a Manchester City player and I think we could all just sit back now relax Enjoy what's left of the transfer window without having too much pressure put in on Manchester City. But City done a good bit of business this summer. Four high quality players brought in to the club to help improve. We've signed some top quality young talent. Jeremy Doku, Mateus Nunes, Yoshko Gavardio. These are exciting young players who will get better under the coach and direction of Pep Guardiola and Manchester City. You've got experience in Mateo Kovacic. We've already seen him hit the ground running for Manchester City as well. And I'm backing Mateus Nunes to do that as well. I mean, the only question will be, how does he break into the team? How does he become not a squad player, but a first team 11? And he has to do what other players have done in the past. The likes of Nathan Ake, for example, who when you're given that opportunity, you have to grab that opportunity with both hands. And if you do, all of a sudden, you become a regular. We've seen Calvin Phillips Phillips, he's been given them opportunities and struggled and because of that always getting linked with the exit door and it can go two ways are you going to be an Nathan Ake and a success are you going to be a Calvin Phillips and fighting and scrapping for your future at Manchester City Mateus Nunes the ball's now into his court he's got the quality he needs the consistency he needs to sit down he needs to listen to the coaches he needs to improve his game because we've seen it with Jack Grealish it takes time to adapt to the playing style of Manchester City. And as I always say with any new signing, you need to give them at least two seasons before you can judge. And that's the same, in my opinion, with Calvin Phillips. He's done one season, he's struggled. He needs to have a really good second season because I can see Calvin Phillips in the next 12 months, it's make or break. He'll either be an outstanding success for Manchester City and he'll be breaking into that midfield or he'll be leaving Manchester City. No two ways about it. Manchester City don't do rotation when it comes to their players and squad depth. Manchester City will always keep their squad nice and fresh. Two or three players here, two or three players there. And Mateus Nunes now becomes part of that conveyor belt. And he needs to now buckle down, work hard. He's uh, been on strike at Wolves. I wasn't keen on that. He needs to make sure uh, that at Manchester City, obviously it's great that he wants to join us and it's great that he's done everything in his, his power to make that move happen. There's ways and means of going about that. Uh, and as I said, his attitude needs to be spot on because if it's not, City will not put up with it. Manchester City are a level above everybody else when it comes to commitment and requirement for professional top-level football. But... 
I think Mateus Nunes has got it. I think he'll be a really good player. I'm really happy with this signing. We've got a really good deal. I think all parties here will be happy. The only tier party that won't be happy will be Wolves with how long they've got left to find a replacement. I don't know why Man City have left it this late in the window, but uh, it is what it is. Wolves get a lot of money here. They need to try and get it sorted to try and bring in a player. There's still time in the window. Deals can be done in a day or two. And as long as you've already identified the players and you're happy to pay a price, deals can be done relatively quickly so there we go that has been today's video i hope you enjoyed the video as i said 1000 likes welcoming Mateus nunez to manchester city summer signing number four for the manchester city first team squad also don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comments below subscribe if you're new around here 32,000 subscribers is the aim trying to get that by the end of transfer deadline day so any help towards that would be much appreciated also don't forget as well social media links there in the description below and slide across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my twitter and instagram email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries also, don't forget as well, TikTok link in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Uh, and that is that, ladies and gentlemen. I think, or at least right now, I think this might be the last time I do an announcement video for this summer. It's been a long, long summer, and we've still got plenty of updates, plenty of videos to get through. I don't think City are going to be in the market for another player, but anything can happen. The summer is long, albeit not that long away from being shot. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.